What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2019 Hyundai Elantra Sport courtesy of Freisinger Hyundai in Mechanicsburg, PA. And so I've reviewed this one before in previous generations and this is one of the fun ones for Hyundai. This is essentially Hyundai's version of the Honda Civic Si, if you will. Around the same horsepower combat car, so therefore I wanted to check this one out today. So, as always you guys, uh, let's start with pricing. And so there will be a couple different setups for the 2019 Elantra Sport. There is the six-speed manual option starting at $22,600 and then you have the seven-speed dual clutch transmission which is the one we have today with paddle shifters, by the way, which you know we'll be testing out. But this option is going to start at $23,700. But regardless of what setup that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same. Powering the 2019 Elantra Sport is a 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, putting out 201 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 195 pound feet of torque available at 1,500 RPM. Power is going to be sent to the front wheels again through a six speed manual or a seven-speed DCT, giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.3 seconds. And for comparison's sake, the Civic Si usually comes in at around 6.7. So that is why I was making that comparison earlier, but MPG numbers come in at 22 in the city, 30 on the highway. But so before we test out any kind of accelerations or paddle shifters, I did want to mention there are drive modes for the Elantra Sport. That button's going to be located just to the left of the shifter there, but those drive modes will include normal sport and smart smart being the one where the car kind of adjusts to your own driving style so that's kind of cool but still what those driving modes are actually going to do is adjust things like the shift points at least if you go with the dct also the throttle response and the steering sensitivity as well and so i did just put it in that sport mode and I gotta say, it is a little heavier of a feel to the steering wheel. But so now, having touched on the driving modes, I think you guys know what we have to do next. What I am actually gonna do is put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left, and then it's gonna give me full control over the shifting, and I think we are going to test out these paddle shifters as well as the acceleration here. And let's see how quickly we can get this turbocharged four-cylinder here up to speed. Holy cow. <laughs> Wow, this thing is remarkably quick for the size of the car that it is. I've got a little bit of spinach there in first gear. This thing is, this thing is fun, I gotta admit, especially with the dual clutch here we got today. Lightning quick paddle shifters, by the way, definitely no issues there. It's almost like I was driving an Audi or something. Definitely a quick reaction to the paddle shifters, but very nice acceleration, I'm pleasantly surprised. And so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so of course you will find four wheel disc brakes up front 12 inch front rotors in the back 10 inch rear rotors as far as the braking feel goes i've had absolutely no issues as expected this is a smaller car so it really doesn't take too much to bring this thing to a stop then touching on suspension and handling a little bit up front you will find a mcpherson strut front suspension with coil springs and a stabilizer bar in the back the sport trim of the elantra is actually going to be the only trim of the elantra that gets an independent multi-link rear suspension that is part of the reason why I like the Elantra Sport. The other trim levels are gonna give you a Torsen beam rear suspension. We're not talking about them today, of course, but what I'm saying essentially is you're gonna have a better handling setup if you go with the Elantra Sport. And again, when it comes to the steering feel, it actually is quite nice. At least when I'm in sport mode here, definitely points you in the direction that you wanna go very easily. When it comes to ride quality, I've actually had no issues. Sometimes you do feel a little bit more of the road with compact cars, but really it's not been any kind of problems for me. I think it's actually soaking up Pennsylvania's road at perfection is pretty nice so far when it comes to cabin noise i actually don't have many exterior noises coming into the cabin i will say i do like the exhaust noise when you punch this thing a little bit though so when it comes to the exhaust you do hear a little bit of that in the cabin especially when you're in sport mode but that is the kind of cabin noise that i do like though so no issues there either and then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back and i always say this with sedans you really don't have any issues of visibility so that is on point, but enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior now of this 2019 
Hyundai Elantra Sport. And so to start up front, as you guys probably already know, for the 2019 Elantras, they have been completely redesigned. To the sides, you will find LED headlights with LED daytime running lights with a new design once again. And they will, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, these headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Also did want to mention in the middle there, there is an Elantra Sport specific front grille, meaning that front grille is going to be different on the Sport than it is on the other Elantra trim levels, kind of differentiate itself from the other. So that's kind of cool. Make your way to the side. There is chrome belt line molding for the Sport, along with specific side skirts as well. Body colored heated side mirrors will come standard and they will come with integrated turn signals too. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. They will come sized up at 18 inches and of course they will be aluminum alloy wheels. Make your way to the back. You will find a rear lip spoiler that will come standard. Looks absolutely amazing back there in my opinion. LED tail lights will come standard once again and they will be redesigned for 2019 like in the front. And just below all of that, a single exhaust outlet with dual chrome tips actually. And I remember this exhaust note in the past sounding absolutely amazing. So I'm wondering right now if it is going to sound the same. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around back to pop that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, so simply just press that if you like. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there actually is a 60-40 split, meaning those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space if you needed it there. Make your way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 35.7 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had. And for those rear passengers, they will also find a rear center armrest with cup holders for the little added luxury back there for them. Make your way to the front seats. They will come manually adjustable and they will actually come with a leather finish as well. Absolutely loving that. With red contrast stitching, again, definitely a nice touch to this one. And that sport insignia is going to be etched into the top part of the seating as well well and of course with leather you can expect these front seats will be heated to go along with that too to take a look up front there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel again it is going to come leather wrapped when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your hyundai logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch but for either setup that you go with you will actually get a push button start which is going to be located just by the driver's right knee so what i'm going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and so but then once started up tachometer is on your left speedometer is on your right there is a small digital display front and center and to control what is on that digital display simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there good bit of different things you could scroll through like your average miles per gallon how many miles you'll left until you hit empty it's going to display your driving moods it's a digital speedometer and quite a bit more than that actually as well and then touching on overall interior quality a power sunroof is actually going to come standard on the elantra sport that's nice as well as a black headliner leatherette door inserts that's always nice dual zoom climate control is going to come with the premium package and there's going to be some carbon fiber style accented trim as well on the doors as well as just the top of the glove box is a real carbon fiber but it does have that look to it that nice weave but perhaps the most important part on the interior here is going to be the tech display and so standard setup is going to be a seven inch high resolution color touchscreen display coming standard with bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply just hook it up to the elantra sport and you will get free navigation through your smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs up there and if you want with the premium package you will actually get an eight inch color touchscreen display and that's actually going to come with factory navigation as well we actually do have that premium package today, so that is what you're looking at right now. But you can also check out climate control information up there, as well as your radio settings as expected. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system on this one, you will get six speakers that will come standard. And of course, I put it that way because once again, if you go with the premium package, you will get an eight speaker infinity sound system. That is going to come with a subwoofer. And again, that is the one we have today. So you guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this eight speaker infinity sound system. <laughs> 
was crazy. Good bit of bass, actually. A ton of loudness, really absolutely no issues. I didn't think we would have any issues, but this sound system's definitely quite nice. But so the last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is, of course, when you put the Elantra Sport in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also what front of driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna find latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also a tire pressure monitoring system. And here is where it gets good. For all Elantra sports, also standard, will be a blind spot warning system with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision avoidance assist, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, automatic high beams, and driver attention warning as well. That is a ton of safety features that are all gonna come standard on the Elantra sports. So definitely very nice there. But that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold